Once again, it's Head Movement TV, and we invite you to join us on another episode of Watch Your Mouth, yeah? Wala ya mala. Wala ya mala. Hala mala So mala hala tala. Yeah. How is that? Hala mala tala bala. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. How you say it enough times? Yeah. So we're here. Joining me is my good friend. Yeah. Shakam Peters, yeah? So obviously now, yeah. Birmingham's home. We're going to talk to you about your recent victory on the Amir Khan undercard. Your upcoming this ultimate boxer yeah, yeah, yeah. Tournament, tournament, yeah, ultimate boxer tournament, and obviously we got uh, a few other things to 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 run through. So just gonna start by showing a clip of your fantastic. Was it round two knockout? Was it round yeah, one? Yeah. No, early round two. Yeah, round two knockout. Yeah. You know, um, obviously you um you you hooked me up with the cheap tickets yeah to come and see. <laughs> and you, you even texted you was like, yo, make sure you're there early because yo, yeah. I don't get paid for overtime. I'm getting them out of there early. Yeah, man, you get me? That's how it is, man. So so I've got there early now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with a couple of the duds. You know what I'm saying? You gave me. A, I, I brought I brought a small leaf with me. Do you know what I'm saying? And boom, yo, it's just a madness. You get me? Sniff a dog just over one of my brethren. <laughs> that you get me? So obviously I've come in now. See, so you know all your brethren and that BB Joker, KRA and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, yo. Obviously, I saw, I think, was it, was Gamal fighting after you? Yeah, yeah Gamal um, was after me, yeah. Right after, after you, me. I saw Gamal, I was like, oh, did I miss it? And then my yeah. mum was just like, yo, knock out round two, knock out round two. I looked yeah. at my bridge and fam, I wanted to slap him, fam. I said, <laughs> I came here to see you more than yeah, I came yeah, to man. see Amir Khan, you get me? Oh, yeah, I, was so, yeah, I was so pissed off, but yeah. Um, so congratulations on on the win. Same. Obviously, we just showed, showed a clip of it now. So, um... Let's just go through some of your preparations for this Ultimate Boxer because you've stepped down in weight to participate in this one, innit? Yeah, I've, um, I normally fight at uh, Cruiserweight. All my fights have been at Cruiserweight. Um, but, you know, I'm like, I'm a light Cruiserweight. You know, you've got your Cruiserweights uh, close to the heavyweight division. Yeah. Um, and your Cruiserweights, what can be close to light heavyweight division. Yeah. So, in a way, it's decent for me, you know. Um, I could be in between the weights, uh, yeah. in between the light heavy and the Cruiserweight. But for this one, yeah, it's a light heavyweight competition, um, Ultimate Boxer 2. And it's one that, when we heard of it, and, um, you know, we got offered to be in it, whatever, we weren't never going to turn it down. We were always going to go ahead with it. It's a great um, stage to be on, great arena. And um, it's one we definitely feel um, what we'll win. I mean, yeah, because you was uh, the the interview that we've done. You was hinting to me about it, and you was like, you know what, yeah. I can't, I can't reveal it just yet. You get me? Mm. So obviously, we know what you was what you was um, hinting about. Yeah. So um, let's talk about certain things that's obviously controversial things that are floating about. Um, Shall we start with? Billy Joe Saunders and Andrade, the whole situation. I know Brad's Brad's he's there in the back. Anything controversial, watch his face. <laughs> watch it and yo, and watch him out if you get me before you start. So so brothers. Um yeah, I'm hugely disappointed with Billy Joe Saunders, I've got to say this because of everything, not only just the fact that he's popped, it's just look at what he said about Canelo. Yeah, everything yeah. what he said about Canelo and the situation, you know what I'm saying? Where I'm not completely defending Canelo because obviously that's a dodgy situation as well. But the if you look into it, the Mexican football team, over a couple of hundred of them popped on the steroids yeah. and yeah. that's where the meat thing came from. So if a couple of hundred of the athletes in a different sport, like there is a legitimate thing there, yeah. right? And he was at, he was pretty much crushing Canelo's reputation. I understand you want to get the fight, but he was the way he was speaking about him to a free what, to have not even been six months? <laughs> and you've popped now, you know, like, yeah. you've yeah. popped like, yeah. and, and, and the excuse that they're giving isn't good enough. Yeah. If it, to the general public, if you look at it, it's like, oh, well, he hasn't done nothing. Cause you can't, like, if you look mm -hmm. at you can't, no, 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 no. You sign, if you, you know yourself as a fighter, yeah. if you sign up for, say, VADA testing, which it was, you mm. know you've got to stick to them VADA rules, don't you? Yeah, definitely. You can't go outside of them VADA rules. I mean... And, and the fix, sorry to cut, yeah, the thing on. with me is, yeah, right, what the problem, the problem is, it seems like these British fighters could have been taking this. Yeah. Right, like, up until, because with UCAD, it's like three days before is mm. in competition. But them type of drugs there, they benefit you in your whole camp. Yeah. They don't benefit you on the day of the fight. They benefit you in the in camp. camp yeah. So so it defeats the object of, of testing for it only in competition. So British fighters may have had an advantage when they're fighting in America. Because if you're not going there till a week or two weeks before, you know what I'm saying? And 
You can take what you want when and you're here. You're well, you're wait, fine, so imagine you do, you're taking a pill. You don't even need to go through what you're going right mm. at. Because after you finish here, you're going straight to the gym, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, I'll be at the gym, yeah. Um, I was going to say I'm bad. You could tell, like, you're clued up on the He loves it, yeah. man. That's nah, true. but you know, it's right what you're saying, though, man. Um, um, I think a lot of it, with a lot of boxes, I mean, when I turned over and that, um, you know, it's drilled in us, you know, by my team, my management team and everything. You know, there's things that like people take like cod liver capsules and things like that and other capsules or the pre-workout for someone. Yeah, 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 there's yeah, yeah. so many things, but there's some of these things that um, are also banned substances, what, you know, you shouldn't be taking in there. Um, I think it's a case of, with some box, some obviously do it on purpose. Um, but I think with a lot of boxers as well, it's um, a lot of their own, um, you know, a lot of them being naive. Yeah, in definitely, definitely. Because it does, it takes like what, two two minutes, five minutes to just go to your local GP and say, look, these are the things I can't um, have within myself and my own body. Does this have, um, you know, this, is it clearance for, you know, professional yeah, yeah, athlete yeah. and myself? That's it, but a lot of people take the risk and, oh yeah, it's the hearsay or they think, you know, it's a brilliant thing to take. Mm. It's going gonna, it's gonna to enhance them, make them feel better. And... I, I just don't get it. It's the only yeah, understand that more for somebody like you know you're on the come up at the moment. Yeah. He is a world champion. Yeah. He yeah. hasn't like he pretty much has got a doctor's direct phone number that yeah. he can phone and be like yeah, what the, what's in this. Yeah. You haven't got that. You'd yeah. have to book it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you have to go for a, a process. I, I totally understand. Nah, definitely. And there's a lot I, on the line for him as well. This is a um, world title opportunity getting him defending. Oh, and now it's costing you know. It's cost him obviously Massive. that opportunity. And, and, it's and not even a title. In it's, it's losing a title would, would be bad. Reputation, the reputation. Yeah. Yeah. You can lose to you yeah, can lose to Andrade, and it's not the worst thing in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, Andrade's sick, or you can lose to anyone. Yeah. And if you lose in the ring, you can come back. But when he comes back now, it's gonna be, it's gonna have the stigma of yeah. steroid, and he don't have the same support that Canelo had, mm -hmm. where it can kind of get brushed under and yeah, some yeah, fans yeah. are just that passionate about Canelo. Yeah, because Canelo kind of, is a superstar. Yeah, and just on a different level. When it, level comes, when it comes to these fight fans, these boxing fans, man. Oh, um, forgive me. <laughs> yeah. All, all, all the emojis, what they put in there and everything. Yeah, and know. It's like they're like, look, when they're, okay, for example, they were saying Danny Garcia uh, cherry picking. I used to go on his comments sometimes. And all of them were just cherries. Cherries. Cherries everywhere. And then now, you know. Even his dad did a video with the eating cherries. You see Brad's face and he said cherry because yeah. that is what he was there commenting yeah. with cherries. He knows yeah. to call him an yeah. cherry. Yeah. He knows call him an <laughs> cherry picking. I swear yeah. to God. It's, and again, the same with Canelo. You know, when they said that about him in the meat and that, there's just loads of uh, um, needles, needles, needles. <laughs> loads of needles. In, and in the end, I noticed a few of the things like he was. Um, his comments, he was just like, he stopped all comments and talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Floyd Mayweather has yeah, yeah. most of his posts, comments disabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disabled, disabled, yeah. yeah. Do you know with the Billy Joel thing, though, it was their response what kind of led me to where I'm at yeah, now. Worse, because yeah. they didn't say, we didn't take it. Mm. They didn't say, oh, it was in a supplement or anything like that. They said nasal spray. But yeah, but basically what he's saying is, is like, oh, Frank Warren's statement was, well, we haven't done nothing wrong according to the UK. That's what he was concentrating yeah. on, the UK. When knowing full well, really, like that they have the violated VADA, mm -hmm. so it's like, why are you concentrating on on the UCAD situation? Why are you just not taking the substance to, at all? Mm. Yeah, yeah. They, why are you just not taking it? They at was all concentrating on foul play and yeah. loopholes. Yeah, and on the loophole no, no, rather than there was actually, a bit of foul play because it was something about they got tried in America when they should have got tried in the UK. Something along them lines, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you've signed up for VADA, which is a merit. And, and if you notice now, all of the major fights are getting VADA testing. A lot yeah. of Anthony Joshua's fights get VADA testing. Yeah, because because people are understanding that VADA are the most clued on mm. drug testing people at the moment for yeah, boxing. They pick, up, they pick up on everything. So they know yeah. not, not to do it three yeah. days before the competition. Do it six weeks, like how they caught Billy now. Mm. Yeah. How they caught him now. They're testing for this substance of when it would be benefiting. Yeah, exactly. Now. Just... I mean, Momo, and I know you think very highly of Billy Joe Saunders, like, I mean, for boxing skill now, it's great the way that everything is caught on over in America. A lot of people respect Billy Joe Saunders for his um, yeah, fighting yeah, yeah. skill. Yeah, yeah. Why level four? Yeah. against Lemieux and everything. Unbelievable. You know what I mean? The world champ. Who do you actually believe would have would have won that fight between um, Andrade? Is it uh, Andre? He says uh, Andre. Some say Andrade. Some, some say Andre. Andre. I think we're all right with either one. Yeah, yeah. So, so, we're all just no, 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 no
Andrade just won against. Does anybody know how to pronounce that guy's no, name? No, I have, yeah, against no, my no. man, yeah. You're talking, you're yeah, talking, yeah, talking, talking about it. And he took a lot of damage. Yeah, he got dropped four times, was mm. it? Four got dropped four times. Apparently, Andrade injured his shoulder. We know what it's like to get his bloody shoulder injured. <laughs> With me and Momo are both injured, for, but yo, what you say, king of the mat, yeah? Oh, no, no, king no, no, no. of the mat, yo, he's the king of the mat, you get me? No, you're gonna have a hundred people trying to fight me now. Yeah, yeah. King, yeah. King, yeah. king of the mat, yo, you know, you know, you know where we be, yo, renegade, shout tight renegade Jim, out tight Tom. Send for him, man. Okay. Toby, Toby's ready for any man, you know what So basically, um, yeah, who, so who do you believe would have won if Andrade and Billy Joe Saunders would have would have went through? You see, when it's two skillful boxers, mm. you don't know how they're gonna mesh. You yeah. don't know how it's gonna gel. You can have both of them very high level, but because one's got his number, he'd make the other one look shit. Yeah. And that I think that would have happened. I don't know. I, I, Which I, was one going, I was going BJ. Yeah, yeah. But that was because I was supporting yeah, BJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to say that he's guaranteed going to outbox him. It would have been a good fight. Yeah. Like I said, he's ever turned up, man, and brought the A game. You can put the plan. You know, he he was Lama, 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 a couple of years ago against um, Brian Rose. Who was that, sorry? Uh, Andrade against, oh, yeah, against yeah. Brian Rose. Yeah, yeah. Ago. I think it was at um, Light Middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. And he. That's when I knew levels. That's About when Andrade. I knew this geezer was actually skillful yeah. because I saw Brian Rose. Obviously, he lost to Carson Jones, and yeah. and you've saw it. And he's not the the like most skillful of fighters. Brian Rose. He was tough, you know, and he'd have he a go and stuff like that. Yeah. But that was as a measuring stick. He, it weren't yeah, close. Brian Rose, but yeah, it weren't close. Yeah. He, he lost every round, every minute of every yeah. round. You know, like I saw yeah. that woke me up to Andrade. Then so I was like, yeah, this geezer's a bit skillful. So mm. when it was like the BJ and him fight. I was looking forward to it, like, yeah, like it would have been intriguing. Yeah, yeah, like, like it would have been good, man. Their styles I, would have definitely made a great fight, man. Casuals would not mm. have appreciated. That's, that's what I was just gonna yeah, say. Like, right. People that know about casuals like, don't know about Andrade, and more. that's the problem. But you ask any of like the elite fighters surrounding them weights, mm. you, uh, Sean Paul, uh, even Keith Furman now, and Paulie Malinowski as well. Thinks very highly about like Andrade. Mm. They all know about him because he was their like boogeyman in a way. Because um, was it Keith Furman's? Last defeat is to Andrade. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. It's to Andrade. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you speak yeah, to look at the size. Of I was just about look to say at the size. Of Andrade. Big lads. They're compact in that yeah. way. Mm. It's, yeah. like me, and, it's and, like me boxing him. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? Well, I think Billy might. Look, I'm not saying that Billy wouldn't have won, but just to come at the other angle where you, like you were mm. saying, that like, um, obviously we supported Billy, so we was, would have thought he was one. Where I feel like he might have struggled because um, Andrade is so skillful and big as well like yeah. at the same time he's not just big for nothing mm. he knows he how knows to use it yeah, yeah he knows that and and even generally if you get two good fighters but one's got a, a like a better athletic frame the yeah. athletic frame can like can help him yeah, out you know what I'm saying well, especially if he knows how to use it yeah. it can be yeah. um, I think that's similar with um, Cormier and John Jones I feel like if there was a bit more like if Cormier had a bit more height to him you know what I'm saying he'd be yeah. able to I think yeah. it's just John Jones is He's athletic, like you know, like how big he is. And like, he's like this brother next to me. Yeah, like, yeah. Imagine, like, <laughs> hold, imagine trying to single leg on him. Me trying to that single leg nice. him to try and single leg you. Yeah. It's a total different single leg. If, you know he, I'm if I'm trying to single leg him and he sprawls, his legs are yeah. like, halfway <laughs> across the room, fam. Yeah. Yeah. Like steroids. Like steroids. Yeah. Yeah. It's about, it's about yeah. now how to use the attributes as well. And then the kind of combat sport, man. If you can use the attributes well, you know how to use them, and um, you know to you, to your uh, benefit to overcome your opponent man then it's a big it's a big um massive massive advantage. look at Lama Lama uh, Rigondeaux yeah, even though Lama was better than him but mm. just the size difference yeah, yeah, like yeah, he was yeah, like yeah, a yeah, little man yeah, he was, yeah. he was stepping over yeah, him like he was a little boy mm. you know because of your fra you've got like that natural athletic big frame yeah, yeah. right are you have you had to learn to a, like um, adjust, adjust and use you, and use like what you was just I mean, saying um, you know coming up no, I think mainly in the amateurs because in the amateurs, um, you know, again, I, I'm not obviously well, I was still tall and whatever, probably even a little bit slimmer then. But in a sense, it's like I used to get a lot more people because it's a faster pace. Mm. They're rushing at me, yeah. so it got to me. I was just like, you know what? I'm getting a lot of people rushing at me. Mm. Don't be wrong. I know I've got. A, 
decent jab. It could be better, but I've got yeah. a good jab in the amateurs. But um, I thought I'm just from there, and even to this day, like I work on a lot of my inside work. Mm. And I promise you now, like literally me, if I get someone who's rushing at me, I know how to handle them so easy. I actually yeah, prefer that because yeah, yeah. I don't have to look at, look for them. Matching and also, and yeah. also in the inside in the inside work, I know how to you know use my set. Use, mm. You know I know how to use my um like my, my like my uh, angles and. You know my punches, my punch verification. I know exactly what I can use in the inside, so it's a lot better. It's all about working on your flaws as well. So mm, yeah. that's where it, it, it's done me well. That now seeing about um, about attributes and obviously advantages physically, mm. it was good to see your last opponent was bigger than you. Yeah, I've seen that picture. I think it was not it very was, often that happens. Right <laughs> there. I mean, if somebody sent me the picture, I was like, "Yo, this is yeah. Shaq's opponent." I was like. Whoa, he's a big, he's a big lad. He's a big lad, but obviously yeah. you, you duffed him up. You got him out. Of it was awkward for the first round, though. Yeah. You yeah. the distance. You see, it was because then once you measured, you used to fighting short. Yeah, people, I'm always yeah. used to fighting short people. Yeah. For me, don't get me wrong. I know exactly um, because I'm tall myself. Um, I know exactly what I, um, you know, what people will try and do with me. But I also know exactly what probably be um, more su where I get more succession against yeah. a taller person. So, um, you know, for me, it was important straight away, immediately, um, you know, because he, he did, he had an awkward jab. He, he kept his hand yeah. down there yeah. and he's just trying to flick it out. But yeah. a good couple of times, they were quite a, like fast, fast sharp little jabs, even though he, he didn't have power yeah. behind him. There's still those ones yeah. to the eyes, yeah. you know, they're kind yeah. of fast. So I was thinking, okay, let me find my range. Um, once I find my range, um, you know, I was in there and it's more like a case where, again, you've got to be quick in boxing mm. as well. You've got to figure them out. You threw, you threw a lot of singles. So I knew as soon as he like threw a single, just to kind of attack his mm. jab. And you know, once I did find the range and I knew in the second round kind of thing, okay, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to attack his jab. And obviously I listened to my uh, coach, Paul Kunan, then it was easy able to get him out there. I think it was the first 30 seconds of the second but, round. So body shot three. again, isn't it? Um, was it a body shot? I don't know. No, no, you know what? It, it was, was on the ropes. Wobbled, yeah. I think it was more a left upper no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what it was, I, I came in. First one wobbled him. Yeah, first one wobbled him. Yeah, I knew I had him. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I hit him to the body. I hit him to the body, but then I came up like with a sneaky uppercut. And I think that's what caught him because he kind of, he did kind of catch the body, but the uppercut in the inside caught him. And then he was kind of more just, on that mode, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, obviously, yeah, was, and, but yeah, once I, once I see any little tweet, man, yeah, I that's it, unloaded. So obviously yeah. that was in Cruiserweight, man. Obviously yeah. there's, there's stuff coming up in the Cruiserweight division. Obviously we've got... Bellew versus Usyk. Take it away, Momo, Yo, take it away. Mad, mad, mad <laughs> fight. Because obviously Usyk's easily one of the best fighters in the world. He's yeah. out the record. Easily. If you look at his fighting style, what he's done, what he's achieved, a unified title. And anyone that wins these tournaments is serious. You've got you to mm. give him credit because you don't know who you're going to fight. Mm. You like Gassiev, Gassiev, before you used to beat Gassiev, Gassiev was a, like a boogeyman, you know. Like, yeah. He was a scary, scary guy that a lot of people had favourite to win it. So, Usyk's a beast, but then you got Bellew. Man like Bellew, man like Bellew, don't, 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 don't count him out, mark my words. You can never, you can never, you can never write up Bellew. You can't write him out. I always about. say with everyone with Bellew, um, he's, okay, for one, obviously he's always got that belief in himself, which mm. is always good to have, but he's, it's just like he always pulls, he finds something, he pulls it out, mm. out of the back from somewhere, man. Do you know what, it's underrated, it's that boxing IQ, and, yeah. and this geezer has got a very yeah, yeah. high level of yeah, boxing yeah. IQ, yeah. you know, like understanding mm. boxing itself, yeah. like, uh, mm. you know, where to be and how to put people in positions, mm. because I'll be honest, I've got to, I've got to take this one on the churn. I called David Hay both twice, <laughs> bro. Save me, man. Yeah, I've got to be honest, I'm being honest, I thought, yeah. if David Hay, if it was any, like, any form of David Hay, mm. I, I doubt it, Bell. You were about to say, you know, for the power in it. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It is. There's a lot of boxers who have power and they rely on just their power. But, you know, for someone who's got IQ and speed, that's just a dangerous. Yeah, and you know I, think what I mean, David Hay never had his legs left. I, I just no, think he, he didn't. didn't. Now, some for obviously, he was power work. heavy anyway. Yes, yeah. Fighters, as you get older, even general sportsmen, as you mm. get older, you have to adapt your style. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. You can't be what you was when you was, you yeah, know, 22, yeah. 20, you can't be that, what's it called? No, no. I just feel, feel, feel like David Hay didn't adapt his style yeah. at all. I he went more into the just the power mode. Yeah, he definitely was more in the power mode. And I mean, you've got to be landing, and it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got, yeah. you got to be landing to gain that kind of confidence in yourself. But his whole style, his whole style, his whole style, his whole style, because his knees were gone, he's, he's had, he's had yeah. injuries, mm. every part of his body, you know, if you look at what, what's happened yeah, to his yeah, body over the years, and he's not punching off the floor, he weren't punching off the floor, he was hoping he's going to knock him out with the second oh, fight, he won, he won, he won, he won, he won, the second fight, he was in a worse 
physical position than yeah. the first one. You yeah. can see that. I don't think he could do like 20 proper squats anymore. You know, like yeah, proper go down. I think yeah. that he knew that in the first fight, but he was better in the first fight because he mm. still had some mm. left. And because fighting on the the ligament going yeah, and right. carrying on after that, I think he's fully messed himself. I, I think I think Bellu, like Bellu showed me in the second fight that if he'd have stepped on the gas in the first fight, like earlier and really mm. had that the roof, the it would have took him out of there earlier. Yeah, but yeah. I think it's always the case of when, especially now on the second fight, you knew what to kind of expect. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, what yeah, he, he made the adjustments. He made the adjustments. Yeah, yeah, like he was a lot more calmer and a lot less scared because he had a look at David Hay. You know, like when you see Mayweather do, where he takes a step back and just okay, so what you're gonna do? And we saw it got to a certain uh, part in the fight where David Hayes um, like as if he was popping a jab from his from his hip but it wasn't it was just literally it was done it was finished and, and you could see Bellew was just waiting for him waiting for him and it was yeah. like okay he finished with, with the first fight he wasn't thinking about his ligament going, mm. and Bellew was respecting him. Oh, he's got this, he's got that. That's what still gave him a lot of respect. A lot of showed him a lot of respect. Because yeah. in the first fight, yeah, David Hay hurt him more in the first fight than he did Didn't in the second yeah, fight. Yeah. There was a piece in the first fight where we caught him with like a combination of Bellew come back onto yeah. like his heels a bit, yeah. like, and you saw it, like. And I think his ligament went just like, after that, innit? Was it? Was it after that? A couple of rounds after, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just, I don't know. Um, like I say. I doubted value before. <laughs> uh, it's not a fucking old broken <laughs> moment. Like it's not an old broken I, David Hayes. You can't doubt it. Obviously, Usyk's got mad skill as well. Right. You know, he's got mad skill, but Bellew's heart, man, is what yeah. there, man. Yeah, unbelievable yeah. heart, and that's underestimated, yeah. man. Because if you, be, if you don't go in there mentally in the right place, yeah. you're the fighter. You go in there. Yeah. If you're not mentally in the right place, I'm, I'm sure there's some fights where you've been mentally in a better place than mm. others. Yeah, 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 right. And you know when you know when you're ready, like when you're yeah. in that mental better place, you're gonna you're gonna perform better than you would. I I've been like, through that, like I said, through myself, really, not in a pro game, but in the amateurs, you know, there's certain things I didn't do right and I've learned um, mm -hmm. from it. And I do, I think this is the blessing thing about being in sport, being in boxing, mm -hmm. you know, you're always constantly learning. Mm -hmm. And um, with that said, like even now, I've left no stones on turn. We've done everything in the gym. Um, I know that I'll be going in this competition, no excuses, the best me. And the best me, I, I tr I'm troubled to like any of these yeah, fighters. Yeah, I know that. So, you know, there's no st no stones on turn. But when you have and you felt you've done a bit of shortcuts, which I did do in the amateurs beforehand, mm. which I which I do live to regret now, and um, with a lot of things in the amateurs, um, you know, you go in there like kind of half-hearted, thinking, mm. you know, what if what if um I gas out or what? Yeah, what if I don't, yeah, you know, yeah. You don't yeah, want to be yeah, thinking yeah. that. And again, like I said, um, with David Hayes injuries. It's a thing, it's hard, and uh, these injuries, and even the same with Cal Book, with the eye injuries. Oh, said you know, the eye you're gonna, you're gonna, injuries. You, like, you are, you are, you know, you are what you are, you're, you're a fighter and that, you've achieved a lot, but you're still gonna be in the back end. But it's just like, if you've had one eye injury, and then you've got it in the other eye right now, yeah. and before, in your last fight, your doctors told you if you carried on fighting, you could have lost your sight in that eye. Yeah. Can you fault a man for yeah, not fighting? But at, at the same time, as a fan, we're not gonna enjoy it because you didn't go out on your shield. But at the same time, if he wakes up in the morning with one eye, are we gonna be happy? Yeah, and no, as fans, right. that's not what we want. We don't want fighters to be having yeah, one eye and Chris stuff like that. speech about the warrior code, and it's confusing because yeah, you don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should he have carried on? Should he have fought? I still don't know. Yeah. I've heard him for 20 minutes. Actually, the fans, the fans come to watch to fight. Yeah, yeah. It's UFC or boxing. Yeah, they yeah. want to see knockouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, 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 and within reason, though, yeah, we want to see yeah, somebody get out. You don't really want to see somebody. You don't want to see nobody wake up in the morning with one eye. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Most people yeah. don't know how a punch feels. Yeah. Like, yeah. Really, like, they don't know, you know, when someone's getting punched and they're like, hit him, why don't you hit him? Yeah, like, you, know what, know you, that, you know what showed what? me? Like, like, I was on an armchair thing with this ever made. Yeah. You know that thing that Tony Ferguson that dude that I said on the armchair, you know? Yeah. You know, yeah. like, yeah. they had us yeah. doing that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah.
his throw combinations at Usyk. He was throwing one shot at a time, and Usyk was dealing with that. Yeah, yeah. Peter, a lot of boxers at that level can do. How do you rate Usyk's you, power, lads? Not on Benny's level. Nah, but Benny's got, got got way more power than. Uh, than I don't. Do you think about the show? Usyk's got great shot selection, though, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, sometimes he dove in. He dove, but no one walks him down. Power to yeah, no one does walk no, him down. I've yeah, seen no, no one That generally down. tells you Gassiev, that somebody's power. And, you know, yeah. Gassiev is a tough guy. If you're a skilled boxer and people don't just walk through you, like Mayweather, people used to tell and say, "Oh, he hasn't. He isn't the most powerful of boxers." Mm. There's a reason why people don't just walk through yeah, them yeah, punches. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason Before why people are standing there for twelve rounds, not looking like they haven't they haven't done this their whole life. You know what I'm saying? They're looking like amateurs. There's a reason because reason not far behind Mayweather. In terms of just skill, but he really he had to get more power. No other power. Even at his best, because he's won your title. That's proved again, yeah. man, with uh, Sam. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, but, yeah, he, yeah, he did it to yeah, yeah. he did it to a point when he was fit and young enough to yeah. win world titles. You know, mm. super fit and doing it for twelve. But the elite, the super elite, ended up mm. walking him down because he didn't have the power. He's so got, man, he's got one of the he's got one of the uh, one of the best. Boxing like brains, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And if he had, yeah, it's heartbreaking yeah, sometimes yeah, to watch yeah, him yeah. because you're seeing him piece somebody up, and, and if he had the that the sting, yeah, yeah, like it's going down, thing. even just to keep him off, he's yeah. like mm. bang, or right, I can't walk into another one of them, but they're feeling it and they're just thinking like, yeah, I walk yeah, into yeah, another yeah. three of them. That's the thing with boxing, man. Like yeah. you know, it's, you can. There's only so much power a lot of people can develop within their own body. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 You can do it. You can train yeah. Yeah. Arms as much as you want. You know, a blatant example of that is Sean Porter versus him. Boxing yeah. skill wise, his boxing skill is levels above mm -hmm. Sean Porter's boxing skill. But the size difference yeah, and the power. Right. And he was hitting him and it was well. like he was throwing a cushion at him and he yeah. was just coming through bulldozing yeah, him, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Sean like, Porter's style nullifies a lot of boxing the way he yeah, just pins yeah. you up and can't yeah, step yeah, pressure. Yeah, but you know, yeah. because Very his boxing's not style. that good. If you get a good boxer with good solid punching power, yeah, right, he's just going to... Furman? Keep yeah, Furman? Yeah, he's going to yeah, be running yeah. into what you're throwing all night yeah. and that's what's going to happen. You're going to be able to outbox him, but... Because Malinard is so pillow fisted, it's like it's like mm. you know. You know, I think there's like um, there's a difference if we go like say back in time. There's like consistent punches that it's not like they've got devastating uh, KO power like um, Sugar Ray Leonard. He's got loads of knockout uh, yeah. high reels, but he's not. He, he, you can't put him in the same sentence of punching power as. Um, Deontay Wilder style punching. You know what I mean? Still off, no, I, you know what I'm totally saying? But it's, yeah. it's like, it's, it, and, and, and Tyler Woodley, Woodley, like Tyler Woodley, Woodley yeah. May, May, Mayweather and the Golovkins, you yeah. can't put Mayweather's power, but Mayweather's got quite a few stoppages on his record. Yeah. When he turned later, came from Pretty Boy to Money, that's when they kind of slowed down. Mm. Um, when he had some videos, you know, when he had some videos. He he's had a lot of hand trouble towards it when yeah. he's getting over yeah, it. But yeah. it's like, it's a lot of people as well, you don't, Trust me, sometimes it's your shot selection. It's not necessarily just the power. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, I mean, a lot yeah, of the shots, yeah. I, threw, I threw a jab and had some, someone's wobble. Mm. No, I didn't fall with no power. Mm. It's just like, literally, it's probably even surprising, been fast and surprising. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shot selection as well. Oh, and yeah. back again, Mayweather. Which is how you, like, look at um, Conor McGregor Aldo. Really, mm. well, not some hook that he's winning yeah, from yeah, around yeah, here. Yeah. It was just a... Timing, precision, you know, like yeah, it's the ones you don't expect. It's the ones a lot, of, a lot of knockdowns or flash knockdowns. Mm. It's the ones you don't expect. You try to like, you know, you, it's too late, bang, you've hit, and you just like, you know, flash knockdowns. Mm. Yeah. I mean, Aldo literally threw himself on the sword in that. If you see, he mm. was like jumping forward, and Conor McGregor was just like. Yeah, yeah, Bing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. a man you, you can have, jump forward like that, but yeah. you still have to mm. have the shot selection and yeah. the precision to go mm. right. Yeah, because Aldo did make the biggest mistake. Yeah, yeah. Like, he didn't come out like ah. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't come out like that. So the biggest shot. Yeah, because what he's going to do? You know, McGregor's bouncing a bit. He thought he was going to throw, and McGregor's only thrown a decent shot. So even McGregor knew this was going to happen. And if if you look, shot selection. You know, in the training video, he said. He even goes, yeah. was he was it with Rudd? Paul, wasn't I? Paul, oh, what's oh, the plan? Oh, 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 and he's yeah, saying yeah, to him, right. and you can see him, he said, it's got yeah. Wow. He Bro, literally yeah, telegraphed yeah. everything that happened. Yeah. It wasn't a mistake, but Conor McGregor just had the antidote. Like you said, yeah. no, shot selection. Shot yeah. selection. Yeah. Because yeah. McGregor could have come with a hundred different yeah. types of yeah. boxes, yeah. but there was one that he just needed to just... Yeah. Man, if you oh. make someone overreach, yeah. it's something when they're trying to throw and hit a target, they're not expecting to overreach, they're expecting to hit that hit target. Yeah. target. So yeah. if someone overreaches, they've left themselves open, plus their body's somewhere where it's not... It's, it, you know, it feels like no way like, oh, I'm not, yeah, 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 supposed to be, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. and, and the video, now I'm here, and like, mm. you know, 
it's one of those you get caught with it, man. Could be anything. And um, who was it? Usyk fought last before Gassiev, because even though Usyk won, he got very knackered. I'm sure he's got he got knackered in that fight, and I thought he might get knackered against Gassiev, but he sorted his fitness out because mm. he done he done 36 mm. minutes of non-stop work. Yeah. You know, in the, yeah, in the, the final, like it was non-stop. Yeah, it's hard on the fight before the last year. Okay, yeah. Um, Usyk's fight before Gassiev, he got quite tired. He got gassed out. It wasn't. He won it. It mm. wasn't as convincing as the Gassiev one, and I was hoping that he had a gas tank problem. Mm. But against Gassiev, his output was ridiculous. He fought 36 minutes of non-stop punches. So I was hoping Bellew can capitalize on that. You know, yeah. put him under pressure and not make it his fight. But like Bellew's a Bellew does come in like as a bit like I said he's been heavyweight mm. he's been a, you know and for him coming down he's going to be a big cruiserweight as well um, so he carries that weight to him um, mm. he, he can hit as well uh, I think a lot of people do underestimate that he can actually hit you know what I mean um, and again he's got a good shot, shot selection whatever yeah. but it all depends man because it, it, it's not even in just the ring it's what you do within your camp as well if you have a flat out hard camp um, you know, you feel flat in camps like, you know, sometimes I'll get it towards the end or whatever or most boxers or fighters you'll feel a bit flat but then, you, you know, you, you're supposed to feel like that and then you'll find it back again but yeah. it all depends man unless they're, uh, they're taking, you know, some nasal spray or whatever Some yeah. or some meat, yeah. some horse meat yeah. like, oh, I, some horse meat. I think, um, horse meat. <laughs> yo, I think Bellew's a lot more slicker than people give him credit for Mm. Like we're saying, going back, the shot selection that Momo, you was always going around back. Was it the second time he knocked down David Hay in the second round? Was it was it the fake right and the left hook? That's mm. what I'm saying now. Left, left hooks in boxing. As we're saying hook, about shot, boxing, shot yeah. selection, fam, mm. and, and Bellu has got enough to put away a, a heavyweight, do you know what I'm saying? He's gonna have to check he's gonna have to check a few and give one at the same he's time. Willing which to. is what Gassiev weren't willing and to do. That's why I'm asking what U6 powers oh, like. Yeah. Because if his powers Dangerous, yeah. Like because we have saw, even though it was a when we say this, it was a, a weight drain value because he was fighting at like heavy yeah, against yeah. Adonis, where Adonis caught him. And but then we saw David Hay, and even if David mm. Hay's not the same David Hay, if he still hits you, you're still gonna yeah, feel him because he knows how to throw punches. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we saw like he landed a couple of combinations, especially in the first fight, and Bellew was still there. So. Mm. If Usyk hasn't got real power, I think it could be a trouble fight for him. I believe that Usyk's got more power than the, the, the rematch David Hay because, like you said, I think his body was just shot. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Like he was leaning on front leg. Front leg. Like yeah. it's not, you could it's see not, that it wasn't right from the... From when the he was on the pads, I was like, that don't look like mm -hmm. an elite boxer. Like, Especially someone that bounces, you need mm -hmm. the legs. Yeah. You can't come up from it. Because Bellew's going you know, to have Hay hit used to hit very hard, not because he was massive, mm. because he gets a lot of power off the floor. Yeah. He does after everything, he used to do everything. Put together, so it comes from, yeah. Yeah. you know, the, the, the talk, the balance. Yeah. 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 And he was amazing at it, like the way mm. Canelo is, like, he used to look proper, like, yeah, look at his stoppage of Chisora, look at how, like, brute that left. That left was a big, tough dude, Tough dude, people see now that he's still not here. Yeah, man, look at the Takam fight, look how much punishment Chisora took. That was one of, like, the best fights I've been to live, that was, Chisora and Takam. You bastards. You bastards. I was that one. Left me behind, man. Yo, when Chisora dropped him, these, he's, Momo's here, JK's here, these, they'll just go, and I'm like, I couldn't move because I was that shocked yeah, well, because to me it just looked like he was on his way out, you know, round yeah, by round. He was just getting caught with yeah. worse and worse shots. Yeah, yeah, and I was getting off the ropes, yeah, yeah, the ropes next minute, you know, wham, he's yeah, dropped him. Yeah. Like, you yeah. see, um, do you ever come across Hay uh, sparring Deontay Wilder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was old, and I know yeah, sparring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sparring yeah, yeah, don't necessarily are anything or are everything, but yeah, yeah. even then, man, watching that, he was sharp. He's look how he's moving, like how he's moving. What a pretty bad with a right hand at one point, and he was that bad. Some some styles don't mature well. Do you know what mm. I mean? Like even we're saying about like Chisora, look he's he's still here, but David Hayes not. Mm. And mad enough, and mad enough, now, David Hay is now promoting oh, Chisora. Yeah. Chisora, I thought you was gonna shoot David Hay. Like, what, what happened to him? I'm gonna, if you can't shoot him, <laughs> join him, you know what I'm saying? Like, that manager. Probably, probably a tactical team. But this is what I'm saying. Like, yeah, like who's winning in that situation? Like, is it is it Hay or is it Chisora? You know, as long as they're both making money, yeah, nobody's winning. We'll get more off Eddie Hearn, it's what they're thinking. Yeah, yeah, Eddie Hearn's happy right now. I mean, Chisora's still in there. If you look at um, 
Roy Jones Jr. His style did not mature well. Do you know what I mean? I think the weight change was the that worst didn't thing help him as well. That didn't help him. But you know what Roy it is? What, what I will like agree that. with Diaz, both years I think are right now, right? What I will agree with Diaz a bit as well. I think that his style of fighting, you couldn't continue no. when you got that away. Yeah, you know, like, you you know, like, that it, how that showboating and how he is just a flashy style, mm. like, you've got to have that them athletic attributes. Once you get older, you haven't got them no more. You no. know what I'm saying? You haven't got the reaction, the sharpness, and the speed to get out of the way of these younger guys. You yeah, know you what I'm saying? He didn't love the defensive style. If he got more, yeah, 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 he yeah, could have yeah. done that. Move that bank, like pretty boy, move pretty, back pretty boy yeah. Floyd and Change Money Jones, like, like a, a two, two different, different fighters. People, yeah. mm -hmm. Pretty boy Floyd was a lot more attacking, yeah, he's more yeah. aggressive, yeah, yeah and a lot more stoppages. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he adjusted as he got older, and and the adjustment he made didn't change, didn't like make him any worse of a fighter. Uh, if you know what I'm saying? No, Floyd's smart man. I think he even himself, he knew he's getting older mm. and it's more of a case of, okay, now he's, you know, he's got, his family, he's got his family, he's got his family as well. Yeah, yeah. I want to keep my faculties and that yeah, was the main yeah. thing. He always used to say that, like, I'm, you know, I'm here, I'm not here to take punishment. You know, boxing's hit and, hit and not get hit. Simple fundamentals. So I think he uses that simple rule so good. You know what I mean? To his, to his, um, Quick question for you, because we've had a like, we've no, it's not a debate, but we've had a like opinions. Mm -hmm. He's got a different opinion to me. I think D 2s was similar to mine of our era. So when I say that, say of the past like thirty or so years, 25, mm -hmm. 30 years, yeah. Who's the the best boxer at the science of boxing that, that we watched though? Not like you can have your Ali's and all. Yeah, these, yeah, yeah not, that's what I'm saying. That era. Who would He's you say? Best. Who uh, would you say is the best? The best boxer. Yeah, yeah. Right now, like through, from through, from from then yeah. till now, from now, till now. Yeah, you choose any one of them. I've got to go with kind. Of, I've got to go with Floyd, bro. You got. To. Well, that's my opinion. I've got to go with Floyd, the only yeah. one that I would accept coming close to him. Is Andre Ward, bro? He, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I it. agree. I agree. Yeah. The thing is, bro, Floyd's only really had a nosebleed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm and, 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 <laughs> and we all get excited off that. Bro, no, 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 look what Carl did. Had a nosebleed, bro. That's so. Nah, but in that cuddle yeah. fight, I was not. I didn't think Cut was going to win that fight. That yeah, point, yeah, 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 y
but in boxing his experience is so mature mm. the, the elite fighters he's faced his beat and everything he, he's like he's like he's at the pinnacle of his career yeah, I'll tell you, you know he won I mean? me but in this <laughs> second Golovkin fight he won me over yeah, in that yeah. fight honestly mm. Honestly, he won me over because, like, throughout the whole camp, Golovkin was like, "Don't run, you're the Mexican, stand mm. and fight." Yeah, and, he didn't. and and next minute, you know, Canelo's coming in there, yeah. he's standing and fighting with you, and you're the one getting Back behind the jab, and, and, yeah. and, and you know what? I'm, this is the was, thing, man. You see, with a lot of boxers, yeah, me, it's me, it's you see, with a lot of boxers when they're faced in a situation where they've never been in. Um, like I said, Triple G had someone for the first time yeah. really standing in the middle mm. with him, just like there. That um, can't handle his power, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, nah, had, he just had someone in there just standing with him. It, I, like I said, I don't care how good you are, it's going to make you question a bit like, mm. what the hell is going on here? Yeah, but you're right, that's what I don't like. Yeah. 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 So, nah, but, uh, and you know what? I've got the respect for Canelo because Canelo went up. Yeah. We've never saw Triple G go up. Mm. He could have fought Frotch, he could have fought Ward, he could have no, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fought yeah, any one yeah, of yeah. these two. Even since there's been fighters, like he could have went up and fought, but he's yeah. never gone up. He's no. always tried to fight the Mayweathers yeah, or the Canellos. Way, yeah. His weight all smaller, and you know what if, I'm saying? Even, saying. Mm. even if he didn't want to fight Ward and Frotch, which he should, uh, should have, because they were champions, there's been mm. how many 168 champions that are kind of beatable? Mm. But because he, he's, he's there, like, right? but what happens is he's not the bigger, badder, scarier yeah. guy. Yeah. So why he could yeah. go there like like uh, George Groves and who else was a champion before uh, the start of the tournament? These guys, Golovkin, you, yeah, you'd mm. think your Golovkin could beat. Yeah. Yeah. For what what level all the paper the pound Groves, I would have said, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Could be. I think Callum Smith would be too big for him. Massive. No, no, but he might not have to be George Groves. Groves Callum, George Callum Groves does. He knows how to use his butt. He's got yes. great butt. Yeah, yeah man. No, no, and George Groves is going to crack Golovkin first, though. Like, yeah. can't his Golovkin like, be okay? With like, if Cal Brook and him was the same way. Calbrook might have won that fight, like if there was the same size, because mm. the way I'm seeing it is, if Golovkin fights somebody that can throw back um, the Atlas thing, is it? Teddy Atlas. The hammer and the nail. The hammer and the nail, yeah. Mm. He's a good hammer, very good hammer Golovkin is, mm. right? But what we saw in that last fight is when he's the nail and it's coming back a bit, yeah, right? He gets yeah, on his yeah. bike a bit, you know I, what I'm I saying? And he's not the big killer, like, you know this big mm. boogeyman that we all thought he was, yeah, like, yeah, and he's not. So I've only watched it the once, but I still gave it to Golovkin. I know that yeah, I fully yeah, agree, yeah, 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 yeah. agree with Canelo won the story of the fight and yeah. the hammer thing. I one, think one we, round, though, when we yeah. give it to, to, to Golovkin. Yeah, yeah I think we all did score Golovkin. I'd have to watch it again to see if... Yeah, Golovkin that fight, I think definitely it was more close to winning that one in a sense because he had Canelo on the back foot most of the time, you know, um, through that fight. Uh, Canelo was oh, yeah, on the, the back first one. Yeah, the first one. Yeah, the first one. one. Yeah, the first yeah, one, yeah, 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 he hands down, like, it wasn't what? even a question. Mm -hmm. But the reason why he, he gave the doubt in the second one is because he got behind his jab. Mm -hmm. And you're not the fighter that gets behind your jab. Mm -hmm. You could, Like we was on about it earlier, if you was to fight a certain person that's like, um, you know, they're putting a lot into into that person. Mm. You know, you if you go there, you're not just gonna, if it's a close fight and you should get the decision, mm. you're not just gonna get yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. did he expect to get, if he didn't get the decision, chasing him around in the first fight, did he expect to get it behind his jab in the second yeah. fight? Yeah. It was a different jab. It weren't the Golovkin stalking jab, it was uh, get him up, stay safe. Get like, him yeah. away, get, get him away. Up. Sorry, I've got to ask one more bang, question bang. about uh, yeah. the heavyweight division. Who do you think will become will come out of this, this triangle at the moment as the king? Tough one. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'll break it down. That's what we love. Okay. <laughs> That's what we love. Break, it down. break it down. So obviously <laughs> Joshua. Um, there's a, you see the thing is there's a lot of expectation with Joshua. Um, sometimes he's gonna he's gonna get these fights like I said you know where um, you know he's, he, like his last fight and that he, he's fighting tough people mm. and remember he's like Wilder's had what is it like almost oh, yeah, 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 his fight. yeah so yeah. you know we expect a lot from from Joshua everyone from the get go has been trying to throw him in with Wilder mm. from probably like after eight fights or something so everyone's throwing him in. Um, Fury, I've always, Fury is a rare heavyweight because he's got great boxing ability mm. as well. People underestimate it. He's an awkward guy. He don't guy look in the good. Ring. Yeah, yeah, he don't yeah, look, yeah, look yeah, good. He's yeah, an awkward yeah. guy in the ring, but he's light on his feet yeah, for a heavyweight. Yeah. You know, he can. He's, he's got, got like the punch out of the middleweight as well. Yeah, yeah. Thing. But at the same time, okay, cool. He's been knocked down by a cruiserweight, mm. which he has done. You know, um, the uh, Conan, 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 Steve Condom's knocked him down and whatever. But, you know, this happens mm. in cruiserweight and heavyweight. These people can punch, so you're gonna, you know, you may get dropped or whatever. It's it, it comes with the territory, but um, 
Damn, breaking it down right now, it's a tough one. I think it's all going to be depending on how, how what, good he how, is. I, I'm gonna, I, I think with this question, you'd have to come back to me after this Deontay Wilder. Oh, yeah, because the thing is, I, I, many people now will think, and I know did my decision before when I first had that interview, I was feeling yeah. that more Wilder and it might be soon, but yeah. I feel, man, that Fury has a lot riding on this. <laughs> 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 decision after this one because you know before he left mm. I would have said Fury all day reason Same, being yeah. reason being because Fury like I said from the Fury who fought the Klitschko um, Vladimir mm. that Fury against the Joshua would have made and, Joshua miss and AJ at that stage as well yeah yeah and AJ, and AJ then yeah. wasn't as good as he what, was what, 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 there is there is variables what I'll say is the better boxer tends to win the fights, you know mm. what I'm saying? That's what tends to happen. Mm. The boxing, if, if you've got two styles and one's more like of a brawler style and one's a boxer, the boxer generally wins. So that's where, if you is in his prime, I would, like, especially more so before, and I would have definitely favoured him. The only thing is, is Andy Joshua's not 40, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So he is going to be able to throw in combinations. He is going to be there with you for a very long time, but... The only thing is, I just think Fury's been doing this since he's been five. You know, I find with Joshua, and again, man, it's nothing taken away. He's a great boxer, man. He's well schooled. But I think the difference between Fury and Joshua right now, I think um, Joshua is reliant on his power. He knows he can hurt people, mm. and I think he's very reliant. If you look at him, a lot of his punches, even close up, man, there's every punch has to be a power mm, shot. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I've I've said it to many, you know. Um, Great, like, especially a lot of people, great power shots or whatever. It's a case of knowing when to use it. Not every shot has to be a power <laughs> shot. No, definitely. You know, not. sometimes you could set up, um, you could set up the perfect power shot by with you know a couple of you know a couple of jabs. A lot of people neglect the jab, a couple mm. of jabs, little angle, bang. And where you done that perfect, you done that perfect against um, Charles. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. That Charles, you, um, you, bang. you yeah, yeah, slip, bang. Charles, and knocked him down. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, that man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reads. Have you yeah, seen oh, his fight yeah. recently against that uh, Polish kid? Isn't it crazy? He had a mad fight. Oh, man, he had a mad fight. From a 12 yeah. round brawl. He looked like he was out of there in mm. four, but for mm. some, somehow he managed to survive and yeah. it, it actually turned into an actual all right fight. But again, right. man, Fury, though, is a very confident fighter. Mm. Very confident. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of people. Um, you know, someone and he's got that mad belief, you know, his, his belief as well, in the sense where if he's saying, like, I've seen him in the. Is it the the face off him and Wilder? Yeah. And he was just proper looking at him and said, Look, you know, I've won every single bout. I won and I need that WBC. Mm. He's like belts don't mean mean things mean stuff to him, but he wants that as an accomplishment, yeah. achievement. And I think that from that fury, I've, I've watched a lot of his presses, I've watched him as a mm. fighter as well, and I think that's Invasion! Definitely, I hear you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna because I'm gonna go with where like, I'm kind of AJ's. I'm probably gonna go with AJ, but that's more yeah. my heart than than the mind. If you know what I'm saying, mm. based on my mind, I'd say Fury. But the only thing that really worries me about Fury is I saw Sefer Sefer hit you with punches, mm. and then I saw Pianetta hit you with punches. And you can't let Deontay Wilder hit you with these same punches. Do you know what's you mad about Wilder? The Fury yeah. that Klitsch got. I think yeah. Fury, like I said, in this fight against Wilder, Fury make Wilder miss a lot. Like Wilder will be again. He'll be like reliant on a lot of his power. Yeah, Wilder's knocked down a lot of people heavier than him, but you know he hasn't faced someone. Who I don't can, think like, he's got enough skill. No, I don't he think hasn't faced because no one. Like Fury, Fury, like Fury, like I said, uh, Fury's been doing this since he's been five. Mm. 
mm. you know like it, you know the you, you see the gypsy band yeah, on the yeah. boxing these yeah. like do this you know what I'm saying yeah. they do this thing you know what I'm saying yeah. they fight from young this is what they do you know what I'm saying AJ started at 18 yeah. there's, there's, there's mm. you can't catch up them them 13 years that, you know what I'm saying yeah, you can't, experience is a big factor it's been it's ingrained in him this is his whole life like this is his mm. whole life where it's, it's pretty new to AJ he's 10 years into it something like that you know what I'm saying mm. so and this is the thing man know. he's growing fat. like if if, if, if um, Joshua in another you know you come back in another 10 fights and say that who'd win out of him and Wild or these fighters I'm sure Joshua's going to be excelled massively yeah I, 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 I totally but, agree with but what he you say he hasn't had that you know he hasn't had that chance don't be wrong like I said again man he's a great fighter but he hasn't had the chance to become even better in himself because he's facing such hard tests at, um, and he's just got to get through yeah, he's just it. getting through he's just, just got to get hard through one, yeah, yeah. Like, Klitschko in Wembley big Wembley yeah, in you know the fight that when he uh, took it though it was yeah. like what 16 fight this is why you see when Wilder and that are talking about oh he's ducking this and he's ducking that. No. Wilder can't say nobody's ducking yeah. nobody because Fury and AJ got to Klitschko before you did. Before and you, and, and yeah. you was like bro, a year longer than Joshua's been boxing yeah. alone. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Wilder's the real ducker here. Yeah. The only ones that we know are not duckers are uh, Joshua and Fury. Fury mm. we know because he went all the way to Germany and took the bouts off Klitschko yeah. where nobody could. Yeah, we'll Klitschko was Germany, invincible lot, at that yeah. point. Germany there's a lot of of um what's it called controversial decision yeah, yeah man, 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 man. It and he did it was real clear and he made it you know what's smart about Fury he made it clear yeah. he made it he made it showed that they were playing he was playing yeah 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 yeah, 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 he made it clear yeah, so clear yeah, but that's yeah, the beautiful yeah. thing man about this kind of fights because the boxing fans would have definitely spoke out anyway so if he even got robbed from that or whatever they would have been in the immediate rematch off that one yeah yeah definitely now sorry let me one thing that I've obviously everybody knows mentally yeah Wild is weak, man. And you know, this whole psychological warfare thing and, and like getting into your opponent's head, Fury, yeah, is oh, an yeah. expert yeah, yeah, yeah. at it. Yeah. You can't cuss him. Yeah. There's you nothing can't. that will affect him. There's yeah. nothing. Yeah. 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 Now, I believe that Fury can carry this all the way into the ring, like yeah, the way yeah. Ali did How, with Foreman. Yeah. How do you cuss about it? You know, like that meme. Um, yeah. um, Ali, float like a bottle of ice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going like to make you fuck up yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know what it is, Fury man, he makes everyone laugh. Yeah, well, yeah, right? yeah, so yeah, yeah. when everyone, you've got all the press laughing and you're just feeling, it's probably sitting there. Yeah, there's even a toy when he went to go for when he went to go for it. And Wilder can't, he can't handle it. No, some that people just can't handle getting caught. Now, you know what Alpha says to him? He's been an Alpha his whole life. Now, nah, you know what Fury says to him? That's right. There's the anti Wilder, then there's the Bronze Bomber fam. He goes yeah. into this persona. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna make you soon. And he whispers. And it's all like, horny ass shit, man. Stop it, man. It's horny, man. It's trying too hard, you know. Where, where, when you see Fury in that, do it, you can yeah. see it's like just, just him being here. Yeah, that's he's a mess reason. about, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm. When this geezer's trying, it's like. You do it in front of the mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You to change. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want million percent yeah, that yeah, that yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it is very rehearsed man and that's the difference between real people like yeah. like Tyson Fury and AJ that who's yeah, so yeah, real, man. so guarded, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? He's 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 not gonna I know he he was pissed off and all this shit was going on and people saying he's ducking and this and that. But for him to refrain like that shows me that AJ is mentally strong, you get mm -hmm. me? And we've seen through this uh, pre for all the presses between Tyson Fury and De uh, Deontay Wilder, how mentally weak Deontay Wilder yeah, is. Yeah, now, you know what we're gonna see if he's weak or not though? On fight night, because yeah. mm -hmm. mind games can work and, and you can react like a maniac. Yeah. 
and win. Or it can work and you react all scared and you, like you don't you don't know until like this is the first time he's been in the position. Mm, no, yeah, I know. Yeah. Like Eddie Alvarez mm. reacted to Conor McGregor yeah. very well. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. the press conferences. I don't think anyone. He's, he won a few. He, he won. No, no, no. He did. He did. And when he said, "Yo, you took money from single moms," like Conor McGregor was like kind of lent forward and didn't have nothing to say. He was like, "He was on welfare." He was on welfare. Real men go out and work. But this is what I'm saying. Go back. To Momo, he looked like he won. Yeah, yeah. But so, the, but it had no effect in the yeah, ring. You know. So, but yeah. that's what I'm saying. I feel like Tyson Fury will carry it all the way into the ring. Yeah, that's that's that your power. That's yeah. putting up in the world. It's gonna it be like depends how the fight goes. Yeah. 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 I think that you know that the mental warfare the in first, the fight so is based on how the fight's going. That's what everyone always says, man. In boxing, man, the first, the first for, between round one, round two. The, um, okay, round one, round three. I'd say round one, one, round one, round two. Though they're very important, man. In cementing your Working position, yeah. you know what I mean. You've got, to, you've got to establish yourself on that that minute, that but um, in, in them in them rounds. But mm. I, I think reactions don't lie, man. I think Tyson Fury really has rattled Wilder. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, in a, yeah. In a good thing, and for someone trying to go for him. The, you know, you're at a press conference out there. There's you know kids or whatever going to mm. be there and that. And view you, you're the world champion. You should just sit and like smile up. Right, mm, man. Yeah. I'm I think yeah. AJ will be able to brush it off a lot more than. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll laugh and fight. Yeah. I was sitting yeah, with, yeah. with him and uh, Big Baby Miller, man. Yeah. And uh, Big Baby Miller was trying to come up in his face yeah, and that. Yeah, don't remind yeah. AJ. Don't have it too often. Yeah, like he'll yeah, look yeah, and say, yeah. you know, well, you can see the you know the real in himself where you're just like, all right, well. Forget the bouts right now. Yeah, what? No, yeah, I'm not yeah. a dickhead kind of yeah, what? Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. can see that in him, but um, where Fury, I think it's just a laughing game. Yeah, so he just yeah. enjoys that. Yeah, he yeah. enjoys that. So I don't think he takes that bit. But I think all. AJ would understand that in, yeah, yeah, in the no, Fury fight. Yeah, yeah. With Jerome Miller, he's I, just I thinking, think, who are you? I, yeah, I don't yeah, up and go yeah, away, you know, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Fury, he's gonna, he's gonna know. You know, like Khabib kind of knew Connor was coming yeah, with yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, They're gonna know that. Come on, man, he's in the Batman suit and this and that in the kids' go fight. They know what he's gonna. I think AJ is gonna deal with the press conference and the cussing and everything very well. But what's gonna be Telling is you know the face to face, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's green and all in your face, yeah. And, 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 and shit, and Tyson Fury's a bit taller, he's gonna be like, what? Well, he stands on his tiptoes as well. It's gonna be, it's gonna be telling because they're, they're not, re- they're not used to having yeah. someone that size come to as long, you. As long as someone, I've always been said to myself, man, ahead, so as long as someone keeps their space, I'm not having someone put their nose on me, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not even that's invade, that's invading, my put my just have your hands up first. That's what me and him do. Hands up first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can have this here. I can have that there. I'm not, I'm not that. I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. not your face. Yeah. That. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So they're going from paying eighty, ninety dollars four or five times a year, yeah, for these big fights to paying what? Well, probably more than four or five times a year. I'm being polite, saying four or yeah. five times a year. Nine pounds a month. Nine pounds a month. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to be paying one hundred and twenty dollars for your whole year, mm. right? Now you've Lots just signed Canelo. Up. Now you've just signed Canelo. You're going to bring a million subscribers straight mm. over. So now, if you're charging people like nine ninety nine to say ten dollars, yeah, right? You've got a million, ten mil um, a month. That is, you know what I'm saying? Or they, they get to ten million um, subscribers. Subscribers, yeah, right. They're gonna be making a hundred mil. You know, mm. you know, like this crazy, this pay per view money that all these people are saying that you can't make to yeah. pay these no, fighters. Yeah, yeah right. Can you can definitely life. make pay -per -view, it. Pay per view, man, pays. Pays Why is Netflix successful at the moment? Subscriptions because it's the Netflix. It's, it's the, the monthly subs. Yeah, it's because the look at yeah, it's promised. Yeah. It's promised income yeah, yeah. And, and, but what we're not thinking we're just thinking Canelo's bringing that million remember they're putting uh, Bellator on there yeah. this on there yeah. that on there it's a sports so, channel yeah it's a yeah. sports channel so and in the end you're going to end up getting all of these sports, sports. sports. For, 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 come for, for, on for, for, you know yeah. like it's like no look at Sky Sports here yeah, man it's Sky Sports and BT Sports and the Premiership rights is worth over a billion pounds mm. man a bi that's just for football that's, yeah that's just for the football deal that subscription if you can get boxing doing something similar to that but can work, mm -hmm. yeah, which can work because all you can. need to do, yeah, all you need to do is like what they're doing is have a fight on near enough every weekend, and it's worth it. Mm -hmm. All right, then, the so, as well, so yeah. they've got Canelo and they've got Joshua at the moment. 